Hello there, this is John V, Software Evangelist at Jscape, and you're watching another Jscape MFD server tutorial. In this video, we'll show you how to create a client certificate. Client certificates are the key pieces in client certificate authentication, a method you can use to augment your HTTPS, FTPS, WebDevS, and AS2 server's username password login system. If you want to know more about the underlying concepts of client certificate authentication and how it works, read the blog post, What is Client Certificate Authentication? We've provided a link to that in the description. In the meantime, let's begin the tutorial. Log into your Jscape MFT Server Manager and then go to the Keys menu. Navigate to the Client Keys tab and then click the Generate button. This is exactly the same place where you create an SFTP key for SFTP public key authentication. Fill up the fields in the Generate Client Key dialog. You'll need to enter the following information. Note that we'll be using the term certificate and key interchangeably here. Key alias. The key alias is just the name that will be used in referring to this particular key within the Jscape MFT Server Manager environment. For example, MFT Server 1 AS2 Client Key. Key algorithm. You can choose between RSA or DSA. Click the link in the description for an enlightening discussion on these two key algorithms. Key length. Choose between 1024 and 2048. Read the post choosing key lengths for encrypted file transfers if you need more information on the subject. Validity. Here you specify how many days you would like this key to remain valid. Common name. This will be the name of the certificate as seen by whoever will be importing or using the certificate on the client side. The usual practice is to enter the user's full name, but for this example, let's just use MFT Server 1 AS2 Client Key. Organization Unit. This indicates the specific unit in your organization that will be using this key. For example, Accounting. Organization. This is the name of the user's organization. Locality. This is the name of the user's city. State or province. This is the name of the user's state or province. And country. This is the user's two-character country code. After you click OK, you'll be prompted to export the client certificate, also known as private key. Enter a file name. In our experience, it's usually best to add the .pfx extension. Enter a password as well to protect it. Lastly, specify a format. We recommend PKCS12. And then click OK to proceed. The file should then be automatically downloaded onto your system. Make sure you save that file in a safe location. Your newly created client certificate should then be added to your list of client keys. Now that you have your newly created client certificate, you can load the PFX file you recently exported onto a user's client application. To authenticate to a server using that private key, you would have to export a corresponding public key certificate and then upload that onto the server you'd want to authenticate with. We'll show you how to do that in our next video when we'll talk about AS2 client certificate authentication. So stay tuned for that. That's it. Now you know how to create a client certificate on Jscape MFD server.